Why do I always have so much equipment with me? Yeah, that's for me. Private. Should be me. This little spot looks nice. Place you over here. Alright guys. Sorry for that. What should we talk about in this vlog? Alright, so I'm in Iceland for the Nordic Chef of the Year 2019. Two Swedish guys are competing. I'm called Anton and Henrik from my team. I'm here to support them and coach them. Sorry for not vlog for a while, but I am building the studio and I'm so psyched to get this tutorial thing going. So we're gonna do tutorials, we're gonna test things, we're gonna test new fruits. I know all of you like when I tasted those nasty fruits. Hit me up with some tips of well, like crazy fruits that I should try it. Also, I got a new tattoo. Check out. It hurts so bad. That was like the worst tattoo feeling I've ever done. Don't tattoo your back head. Not that big. I mean, behind my ear was a pain. Then it's a good idea to do all of the back end. I think we should do like a small B-roll of this, of this amazing building. Let's go for that. So what is the Nordic Chef of the Year? It's an individual competition, so we have one representing the Swedish team senior team and one representing the Swedish junior team. So you're supposed to cook a three course menu and in four hours you're supposed to present the uh, starter, fifth hour presenting the main course and sixth hour you're presenting the dessert. And these courses are based on a mystery box. First day it's briefing and you get to see all of the ingredients. And there is some main sponsored ingredients that you need to use for... And this time it's scallops and halibut for starter. And it's lamb neck and something else with lamb and potatoes for main course. And then there was rhubarb, skid, which is like an Icelandic yogurt uh, for the dessert. And you know, these competitions are really tough to train for because when we are training for like the Olympics or the World Cup, we do the same dishes for one and a half year. We develop them, process them and taste them every day. And here you need to be more open-minded, be more quick, be more creative because you have like one day, not even that, you get to know the ingredients the first day and then you need to write the menu the same day. So you need to have like a big variations like creative stuff in your head. Just this competition goes really quick. It's alright guys, this suit is on and we are ready for the prize ceremony. 